This video will demonstrate how to crop a shape and apply image options on Google Slides. So for example, here we have another slide with the same quote um, by Gar Reynolds. And this might be a slide that you might typically find you know, at, a, at a conference presentation where it's uh, referring to somebody's quote. And it's not a terrible slide, but some things I don't like would be the white stark background um, against uh, that really sharp black text. Um, the quote icon in the upper right corner is nice because it lets you know that, it's a, that this is a quote. And of course, we got a picture of the person, the author here saying the quote. Um, but I think there's a lot of things that we can do to improve this uh, particular slide. So I'm going to show you some techniques here. And the first one is how to crop this, um, this image here. And the first thing you may not know is that with uh, cropping on, on uh, Google Slides, a lot of people know that if you click, you can go to the crop tool. And as soon as you click on that, you'll have these little black handles on the side there where you can change the size of that crop image. Um, another thing you do to get to that point a little more quickly is to just double click an image. And when you double click, it automatically goes to the crop image so that you can, or the crop tool so that you can start cropping that particular image. But today, instead of, um, because this is already a square image, we want to keep it this way. Um, but what we want to do is we want to apply a little bit more effective design here. So instead of this just being kind of a boring old square, let's change this to a circle. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click once. And when I click once on this image so that I've got my little handles, resize handles on the sides, I'm going to go up to my toolbar and you'll see the crop image. But instead of clicking that, we're going to go just to the right of that in this little pull down arrow. And we're going to do a mask image. So we're going to crop it, but we're going to crop it with a specific shape. And in this case, I'm going to choose shapes and then go down to circle. And when I click on that, it'll automatically place this mask crop around it so that now instead of it being a square, it is a circle. So that by itself improves the image a lot or the slide a lot. Um, but the next thing I want to do is I really want to apply this so that it looks a little bit better. Um, right now I can see that he's not quite on center with the image. So um, again, if I double click, I now have my crop tools and it's still going to be a circle here. But what I want to do is go down to the lower right corner. You can see this little blue square. What I'm going to do is make the image size larger so that his face gets pulled down a little bit closer to the center. So I'm going to grab down here and maybe about like that. Um, I like where he is right there. It might be a little bit too far to the right. So now I'm going to use my arrow keys that we've been using throughout these um, videos. And I'm just going to hold down my shift and get it really centered right where I want within that circle. And now when I click away from the image, all of my little crop handles and resize handles will disappear. And now I've got um, the author really centered there within the circle. And I like the way that looks. Um, something we can do to maybe improve that a little bit is put a little border around this circle. So if I, again, if I click once on the image, I'm going to go up to my line tool and I'm going to place maybe a four pixel circle around there. Uh, it could maybe be a little bit more bold. So I'm going to go eight. All right. I like that. And then instead of it being black, I'm going to choose maybe this um, lighter gray here right above the yellow. And I kind of like the way that looks. All right. So again, to soften up our hard uh, black text here is I am going to double click and highlight all of that. So now that I've got my text selected, instead of it being black, let's make that a little bit lighter of a gray. So let's use that same gray right above our yellow square. And that looks a little softer now. Um, and again, this white background, I don't like that as much. So let's change that as well. So um, I'm just going to kind of go off to the side here and then right click on my slide and say change background. Right now it's white. Let's change that to black. All right, and I'll say done. All right, and I really like the way that circle looks. And now my text stands out um, really well in that nice dark background. And we've got our little quote icon here. Um, something that can look nice with this is to kind of make it a little bit more of a subtle effect. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag this. I'm going to make it rather large. So it kind of blends in with that text. Maybe not quite that large. So I'm just going to back that up a little bit. Use my arrow keys to locate a good spot for that. So I kind of like the way the text kind of flows right into the large portions of the quote. But the color is too similar there. So we're going to use um, our format options here for our, for our icon there. And one of the things we can do is when I click Format Options, it's going to let me change some of the colors on our quote marks. So I'm going to recolor that to one of these lighter gray objects. All right, so I like that light gray, but you can see that blends in really well. And I can no longer see my text. So I can make some adjustments here. And one of the things I can adjust is the transparency. So I'm going to click and I'm going to put a lot of transparency on that image so it just kind of fades with the background. And I'll close out of that, kind of click off to the side. So now I can see the quotes, but it's not quite as prominent and it um, helps my text stand out a lot better. So now when I view this slide, I can see that that whole image really stands out well. Probably the only thing I would maybe want to change here is I think maybe this border here is too bright. So I want to make that a little bit more subtle. I can click on that, change my border color, and maybe make this a little bit more dark. So it's a little bit closer to those quote signs. There, I like that now because the quote stands out a lot more and that picture looks nice and sharp with the background. This video demonstrated how to create a crop shape and image options in Google Slides.